today we are going to talk about the technology which is not a very literal technology with the human face we are not talking about robots which is having a human face or some digital panel with a human face we are talking about the ethics here we are talking about this very interesting topic technology with a human face what is it what all do we need to know when it comes to technology with human face what about chat gpt or the other ai tools which are in the market a lot for us to explore this is me natika duggal i welcome you to the universal group of institutions we at universal group of institutions are bringing up amazing content for you so i really hope that you have subscribed to the channel also we at universal group of institutions offer you the de the degree courses offer you the degree courses and along with that we make you job ready we have the ongoing series of ks mains and upsc do check the playlist out you can also avail a seat at universal group of institutions you can refer to the code nit006 and avail attractive discounts now let's get to the topic what is technology with a human face why are we uh, so intrigued on adding this human face term here huh so what is technology with a human face let's first understand the definition of it technology with a human face is a concept that emphasizes the need for people centric technological advancements that prioritize human well being ethics and sustainability over mere economic or industrial progress now here is a question isn't technology meant to assist a human being isn't it actually inherent for a technology to follow a uh, human goodness humanity goodness in fact nature's goodness ha huh? why to add a separate phrase with human face right we understand this is all something that we inherently expect a technology to possess it should have people centric technological advancements that prioritize human well being ethics sustainability over mere economic or industrial progress so we know that we should actually cater to such a technology any which ways so it challenges the notion that technology should be developed and deployed only for efficiency and profit arguing instead that innovation should be inclusive ethical and environmentally responsible now these are certain words which really holds a lot of importance for us what are we talking about inclusive it should be inclusive it should not make biases it should not exclude one community it should be inclusive everybody should be welcome ethical there should not be any ethical and we'll talk in depth about where ethical challenges can there be then it should be environmentally responsible it can't be at the cost of environment whatever development we are planning it cannot be exclusive of keeping the climate change in mind keeping the environment in mind right okay now isn't all technology now the question is very simple we raised this question together that isn't technology meant to help people anyway why the extra phrase with the human face why do we have to remind ourselves by adding this extra phrase is it not sounding very fishy let's find out let's explore so here is actually some of the examples here are some of the examples where you will see that technology with human face idea doesn't exist let's check these are examples of technology without a human face the facial recognition used for surveillance in some countries governments use ai powered facial recognition to monitor citizens 24/7 now this is breaching the privacy isn't it this can have its own ethical questions so problem is it invades privacy the privacy is invaded limits freedom and is often used without consent we never signed a consent form for government to uh, monitor us at all the time no okay so if that is happening it's an ethical question okay so this is the facial recognition used in surveillance the second example is ai replacing jobs without reskilling plants this is what we as a generation are currently witnessing if you name a job it can be replaced by ai talk about it teachers yes the teachers are being replaced by ai that's it that's not just in the uh, mental ability form but also physically there has been a town in kerala in which there was this teacher who was deployed and they are doing this 
studies of how well the assistance can there be if we have robots as teachers well trained robots well do we have a reskilling plan for the rest coders if we talk about coding if we talk about editing if we talk about script writing if we talk about doctors if we talk about medicines if we talk about the pharmacy if we talk about the research if we talk about the phd if we talk about the lawyers if we talk about the judicial services if we talk about the learning in general chat gpt or other generative ai models are of course very very far more intellectual than humans put together after all it is working on machine learning it has the ability to learn so many things at one single point in time which is beyond human capacity and if we have to win the race we have to be better at least in one area where we can beat ai so that's the that's the challenge that we as a generation possess now the problem like i just said so companies are adopting ai to automate tasks and reduce costs and the problem is workers lose jobs and no one trains them for new roles so technology becomes a threat instead of a support in such a system so it doesn't follow the idea of with human face e waste harming the environment now we are talking about the environment as well so billions of old phones laptops devices are thrown away let's face it we do not know how to manage the garbage it's in very few cities like in bengaluru and that too not in every part of bangalore but yet it is being practiced at least in bengaluru to a quite good extent as compared to the other cities where there is a proper segregation of waste in the terms of dry and the wet waste but still people would not throw away the batteries or would not throw away the phones separately in a digital garbage that the idea also we are unaware and we do not even want to think of the consequences that's how the system is so e waste harming the environment millions of old phones the laptops the devices are thrown away the problem is they contain toxic metals and plastics that pollute the land and water not environmentally sustainable so yeah that is again not very ethical not very environmental friendly either biotech advancements raising bioethical issues gene editing tools like crispr c r i s p r can alter human dna the problem is without ethical rules it can be misused like designer babies of cloning now this is a very interesting concept and maybe we can make a video on this separately if you would want to watch a video on uh, the insights on these designer babies if you want blue eyes can it be done if you want a baby who is very very fair can it be done if you want a baby who turns out to be very tall will that be fair you name a very sought after trait and might be we would want that in a child the designer babies is based on just this concept you give us the characteristics you want in your baby you want your baby to be intellectual don't worry we will take care of the dna editing and make sure that happens so do you understand the gravity of situation here we are altering things beyond our capacity maybe it starts to rule us and the sci-fi movies climax may turn out to be true so these are the deep ethical and moral concerns that we do have so key aspects of technology with a human face why is this technology with a human face concept so important so it is about the inclusivity and accessibility ensuring technology benefits all sectors of the societies not just the privileged few of course bridging the digital divide between the urban and the rural populations affordable internet initiatives like digital india bharatnet we have talked about these revolutions as well you can check them out in the playlist now here of course inclusivity and accessibility are the two very very crucial grounds in order to ensure that there is no such partiality or such a distinction going on between the different classes of the society now next is 
the sustainability and the environmental consciousness, developing technologies that are energy efficient, that reduces waste, that emphasizes on the green energy like solar and wind power, like Tesla's electric vehicles, India's push for renewable energy. All of these are the technology with human face because we are keeping in mind all the ethical questions. We are doing the ideal way. We know that there is a huge dependence on the non-renewable resources. So we need to shift to renewable energy resources. So if uh, there is a technology in the regard of green hydrogen, that will be supported by the government. That will be very much supported by all the citizens. It is for the goodness of everybody. It is absolutely ethical. It is taking into account the climate change. It is for the human development. It is also fulfilling our requirements. And it is also taking away the load from the non-renewable resources, which is a big time challenge. So we understand, okay, this is technology with human face. Next, ethical and AI automation. So ensuring that artificial intelligence and automation do not lead to mass unemployment or ethical dilemmas. Developing AI that follows fairness, transparency and accountability principles. AI assisted healthcare with human oversight. So this is, uh, again, one of the latest. This is a very advancing field. Let's face it. When it comes to the AI, AI is a very, very advancing and evolving, ever-evolving field. If I talk about uh, AI, of course, uh, there was just very recently a summit uh, where Sam Altman actually mentioned this thing that uh, AI is learning at such a high pace that the world may not be ready for it. It may take away a lot of jobs which we are not ready for. Hence, we are slowing down the pace at which the AI is learning. Do you understand the moral question here? We have a technology all set already. It possesses the power of superhuman. It is far more intellectual. It is far more well-read. It is far more knowledgeable. It has far more solutions. It can read multiple stuffs in nanoseconds. That's how it is trained. And it has ability to give answers from human perspective as well. How are we ready to actually uh, fight with such a technology? Are we ready to make sure, is there a reskilling going on to take care of the rest of the crowd for whom the AI will be taking away the jobs? So these are the questions which is baffling and it is not just baffling for you and for me, it's baffling for everybody. There is a buzz. YouTube creators, the script writers, the editors, the actors, the advertisement industries, the products, everything, the influencers, you name a profession and it can be directly or indirectly get affected by AI. Okay, now we'll move ahead. We'll talk about next one. The key aspects, other one is privacy and data protection. Protecting individuals from data misuse, surveillance and cyber threats, implementing strong digital privacy laws like GDPR and India's personal data protection bill. The examples are end-to-end encrypted communication platform. So we recently saw that how on WhatsApp, the app earlier, it was nothing like that written, but now I think uh, two years ago, it was this end-to-end -end encrypted term which started coming, right? Telegram is also known for its privacy, end-to-end -end encrypted it is. So we have uh, this very dire need of protecting the data. It cannot be just leaked just like that that may raise a lot of privacy issues. So the communication between two individuals has to be protected. We need to feel enough secure when we are communicating with somebody that we are not being read by somebody. That's the least privacy that we can ask for. So yes, we have the technology with human face taking care of this, where it comes to the privacy and data protection that is being taken care of. This principle is being followed by the end-to-end -end encryption feature that is being given to the citizens. Okay, next is job creation and human well-being, balancing automation with employment by reskilling workers, ensuring that technology augments human work instead of replacing it. Skill India AI assisted workplaces. Skill India AI assisted workplaces are certain examples of it. So yeah, it's not that the reskilling is not happening, but the way the replacement of AI with the human jobs is happening. At the same scale, of course, nowhere the reskilling is happening. That's the concern. The replacement, the layoffs news, this is far more rampant than the campaigns like these, Skill India, 
right the number of students or number of people coming out from skill india are they as many as the number of layoffs which are happening because of ai we need to answer these questions so why is it important why should we have the, this human centric approach why are we so egoistic that we want human centric approach so we know that human centric approach is actually very far and wide because it also takes into account the climate change it also takes into account the environment it also takes into account the different strata of society everything it takes into account so without a human centric approach technology could increase inequality or widen the rich poor gap the lacuna between the two sections of the society might rise the rich and the poor it can damage privacy unchecked ai surveillance so of course privacy breach can also be there otherwise if we do not keep human centric approach in mind harm the environment like e waste and pollution like that gadgets waste we are talking about disrupt the jobs mass layoffs due to automation now what is india's way out how can india balance the tech and ethics number one the strong data protection laws we need to have the strong data protection laws like for example india's data protection bill and the importance of the cyber regulations there are discussions going around legislature is also working on the same then ethical ai development ai should be transparent fair and human centric the un's ai ethics guidelines are also there one has to abide by those un ai's guidelines then sustainable industrial policies green tech adoption in factories tech transport and agriculture there should be regulated tech implementation ai and biotech must follow the legal and ethical boundaries so that is why it is important anything anything unthought of can become very disastrous if we do not keep checks and balances we are not sure whether the advancements that have already happened are way too much beyond the control of human beings anymore well this itself is a topic which is crazy and can demand a complete different discussion do let me know how you found today's video in the comments below if you're liking the session do hit the like button with this this is me nitika signing off